Lord right now, magnify his name. Exalt him. Give him praise from the depth of your heart this morning. Thank him for bringing you to the last day of the third month in the year 2022. Not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but of God that showed mercy. Give him praise right now. Let's worship him right now. You are great, yes, you are. Oh, you are. Oh, we sing. You walked upon the seas and raised the dead. Hey, you reigned in majesty. right now magnify him because every demon every evil subject at your feet from this day forward uh, give him praise give him glory lord we bless your name lord we give you praise we magnify your name Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' glorious name, we are fortunate. By the word of the Lord this morning, I see you triumphing on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever dominating over your life before now, the table is turning in your favor right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever issue of life, Troubling you, I decree by the word of the Lord today, the table is turning in your favor right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Power is changing hands in your favor right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Power.
power is changing hands in your favor right now in the name of Jesus, right? Power is changing hands in your favor right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Testimonies will abound in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. It says, unto him shall the gathering of his people be. Lord, unto you our gathering is this morning. Lord, honor us afresh with your presence in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your grace flow on in that to every worshiper this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. No one will return the same from this mountain this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. And believers in the house, we say a louder amen. amen. Believers in the house, we say a louder amen. amen. Help me to welcome your neighbor left and right before the Lord. Once again, this morning, tell that neighbor you are welcome to his presence this morning. We smile on your face. Make sure your neighbor is smiling. You are welcome to his presence once again this morning. And your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands together for Jesus Christ. And please be seated. On the behalf of Jesus Christ, the owner of his church, I want to welcome everyone to this last chapel service in the month of March 2022. Glory be to God. And the beauty of it is, according to as. as Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 8 said, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So you are set for a better time in the presence of the Lord this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. And not just the last service for the month of March. Also, you are in last semester in the session. Is somebody clapping for Jesus Christ? Is, is somebody clapping for Jesus Christ? And according to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 8, it says, I am Alpha. And what? God introducing himself. We are in which semester? That is, the equation is, if God equals Omega, then Omega semester equals God's semester. Is somebody getting it now? Because you are in God's semester, good awaits you in this semester in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I am Alpha and I am Omega. The beginning and the ending saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. That is God revealing himself. So expect in this semester mighty works in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you are working with the almighty in this semester. Mighty works will be your experiences this semester in the name of Jesus Christ. And the goodness is this. In every word written as omega, there is what we call mega. In every omega, there is mega. So expect the mega and better blessings of the Lord this semester in the name of Jesus Christ. When you write the word omega, remove the O, what remains? Expect the mega hand of the Lord in your direction in the name of Jesus Christ. And that will be your experience in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to appreciate God for this opportunity of bringing the word of the Lord unto us this morning. And this opportunity is given unto me by our father, the chancellor, Dr. David Oedeko. And I appreciate God for this. Also, I appreciate our father, the pro-chancellor, Bishop David Abiyoye. The Lord bless them all in the name of Jesus Christ. Also in the house this morning, we have the university secretary seated. Is somebody clapping for Jesus Christ? You are welcome, sir, in the name of Jesus Christ. Also, we have the vice chancellor in the house this morning. Is somebody clapping for Jesus Christ? You are welcome. We have the registrar in the house this morning. Please put your hands together for Jesus Christ. You are welcome. And all the management board of the university, the teaching staff, the non-teaching staff in the house, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. We also have the PG student in the house this morning. Put your hands together for them. You are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. And for kings and queens in Imbron this morning, is somebody making a joyful noise unto the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. 
as you have made noise in rejoicing before the Lord, by the time your result, 100 level, by the time your result will be coming out, that is how you will be shouting and rejoicing. Is somebody shouting and rejoicing? That will be your experience in the name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. We began a teaching series for this month, which will be taking the final part today, unveiling your glorious destiny in life. Part 4B. Unveiling your glorious destiny in life. Part 4B. James chapter 1 and verses 24 and 25. James chapter 1 verses 24 and 25. It said, For he beholded himself and goeth his way. And straightway forgetted who, what manner of man he was. But whoso looked into the perfect law of liberty and continued therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. But the instruction is, whoso looketh into that perfect law. And what is that perfect law? Is the word of God. The perfect law is the word of God. I believe you are here with your Bible and your pen and your note. Amen. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 2. It said, write the vision. And do what? Make it plain. People of vision are always writers. Write the vision. Being in chapel without pen, paper to write is just synonymous being in a cinema hall. Just watching the screen. Unfortunately, you don't have popcorn beside you to be eating. Being in the chapel is to gain from the Lord, and you must be with your writing material. A wise man said, the shortest pencil is better than the biggest brain. The shortest pencil is better than the biggest brain. Write the vision. People of vision, we always show on television. And people without vision, we watch people of vision on television. Glory be to God. You want to be announced to your world, you must be a person of vision. And one of the things that qualifies you as a person of vision is being a writer. Write the vision. Make it play so that you can run with it and emerge and see yourself on the TV. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. I said the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. The time for the word is not the time to sleep. It's the time to hear what God has in stock. The time for the word is not the time to fondle with your phones or the stuff. It's the time to hear from the Lord. And I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Unveiling. Your glorious destiny in life. One of the things you will need to understand that Jesus came primarily to make life much more fulfilling and exciting for us. The coming of Jesus Christ is to make life much more fulfilling and exciting for us. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21, it says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin, bringing them from the dungeon of sin. Salvation of sin, uh, salvation rather from sin, is the access to celebration of life. Salvation from sin is your access to 
the celebration of life. It is one thing to be existing. It is another thing to live. It is one thing to be existing, just according to 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 6. He said, he that giveth herself, he said, she that giveth herself to pleasure, she is dead, why alive? But she that liveth in pleasure is dead, why she liveth? That is, those that give themselves to sin, they may be existing, but they are not living. Sin brought us from the realm of human being to become a living soul. When God created man, man was without life. Man was existing on the earth. But after he breathed the breath of life into the body, the scripture says, a man became a living soul. That is redemption. Is what brings us from just the life of being existing to become a living soul. In the valley of dry bone, after all the bones came together, he said they were like dead bodies. Until the breath of the Lord entered into them, said, and they rose up and became a great army. I see that great army emerging from this platform this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I said that great army is emerging from this great platform in the name of Jesus Christ. If that looks like you, let your amen show it right now. And First John chapter 3 and verse 1. First John chapter 3 and verse 1. It said, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon you, being redeemed. Is just a sheer love of God upon your life. Is the show of the love of God upon your life. He said, what manner of love that the Father had bestowed upon us. That is, God now becomes your Father and showered his love unto you. Hear this. God is the creator of everything. But God is not the father of all. God is the creator of all, but not the father of all. John chapter 1 and verse 12. He said, as many that receive him, to them give him power to become son. Only those that receive him, they are the ones empowered to become son and a daughter. As your case may be. Only those that receive it. What manner of love that the Father has bestowed upon us. And that we should be called the sons of God. He said, therefore the world knoweth not us because it knew him not. We are in the world but we are not of the world. The world knoweth not us yet because they don't know him. He said, he that sees me, I've seen my father. Only those that know him can know you. And I see the Lord announcing you to your world this season in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, the Lord will announce you to your world this season in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why you need to understand what destiny had in store for you as a redeemed child of the Lord. As a redeemed child of the Lord. You need to have the, un what you don't know, you don't know. Just like the chancellor always, and what you don't learn, you can't know. And whatever you don't know is your senior brother. No matter your age. No matter your age, whatever you don't know is older than you. No matter your age. And the scripture speaking, it said, my people are destroyed. Because, not because the devil has power over them. And he never denied them not to be his people. But yet, they were destroyed because they lacked the knowledge of what they're supposed to have. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. 
Whatever you don't know, you don't know. And only the meek, he will teach. Only the meek, he will teach. So, you need to humble yourself to be thought of him in order for you to understand what he asks in store for you in destiny. And they are numerous. Because redemption is not to your disadvantage. Redemption is to your advantage. You have everything to gain. Being a child of God, you have nothing to lose. You have every good thing to gain as a child of God when you identify with him. And that is why you need to understand what your packages are in redemption. And this morning, one of the packages of redemption will be revealed unto us. And that is you are redeemed to enjoy health and vitality. By redemption, you are redeemed to enjoy, not to endure. You are redeemed to enjoy health and vitality. You are redeemed as a lively stone to enjoy good health. As a redeemed child of God. Third John and verse 2. Third John and verse 2. He said, Beloved, I wish above all things. That is my priority. Third John verse 2. That thou mayest prosper. Be in health. Even as thy soul prospereth. Beloved, I wish above all things. That is Parity, that is, your having good health is God's parity. I wish above all things, no matter the wishes of the wishes. I wish above all things, no matter the wishes of the wizards. I wish above all things, that is my heart towards you. And you remember I said the thought, of God towards us is life, is peace, and not of evil. I know the thought I have towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. My thought towards you is to live in good health. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. That is one of the packages of redemption for us. So as a child of God, you are redeemed to live in good health. You are a covenant practitioner, so you cannot be a victim of medical practitioners. You are a covenant practitioner as a child of God. You cannot be a specimen in the hand of medical practitioners. You are redeemed to enjoy good health. So in any way, when you see your health challenge, then you need to question yourself. Where have I missed it? Because God cannot lie. God cannot lie. You need to query yourself. Where have I missed it? In the book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse 2. He said they brought to him a man sick of palsy. Lying on a bed. And Jesus seeing their faith and said unto the sick of palsy. Son, be of good shears. Thy sin be forgiven thee. So it was not... Any other thing that brought that sickness, it was sin. Said, thy sin be forgiven thee. And when sin goes, everything, every good thing come. 
The day you are saved is the same day God bestowed upon you every package of redemption. Spirit, soul, and body. The day you are saved, he bestowed upon you every package. You have your welcome package into the kingdom. Because it translates us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. So as soon as you are enlisted and you step in, into the kingdom of light, he has your package in his hand and delivered to you. And one of those packages is good health. It's good health. I pray for everyone that may be challenged in their health. Under the sound of my voice this morning, receive sound health now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive sound health right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive sound health now in the name of Jesus Christ. When you live as a faithful ambassador for Christ, then health and vitality becomes your portion. Health and vitality becomes your portion. When you are called into the kingdom, you are called as an ambassador of Christ. You are called to reconcile the world unto God. And when you obey this instruction, Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 17, it said, health becomes your portion. Good health becomes your portion. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 17, it said, but a faithful ambassador must always enjoy health. A faithful ambassador must always enjoy good health. You are, you are representing his kingdom here on earth. And whatsoever flows in his kingdom over there must flow in you and flow through you. You are representing, you are an ambassador of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verses 19 to 20. You are an ambassador of Christ. As a believer, you are rep he said to we that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and had committed us the, uh, us the word of reconciliation. Verse 20, he said, now then we are ambassadors of Christ. Say with me, I am an ambassador of Christ. Say it loudly with all conviction, I am an ambassador of Christ. He said, we are ambassadors of Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. We are ambassadors of Christ. And every faithful ambassador must enjoy good health. That will be your testimony from this day forward in the name of Jesus Christ. I said that will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. In that book of Exodus chapter 23 and verses 25 and 26, it said, But ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread and water. And one of the things he will do, he said, he will take sickness away. He will take sickness away from the midst of thee. He will take sickness away from the midst of thee. He will take sickness away from the midst. Let that word sink into your heart. You cannot be sick as a child of God. He will take sickness away. He bore your trespasses by his stripe. Ye were healed. By his stripe, we were healed. Let that word sink into you. As a child of God, you must enjoy good health. This semester and beyond... Good health is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. I said good health is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Now just like that jailer asked Paul, said, Sars, what must I do to be saved? To enjoy this good health package in the kingdom, what must you do? Number one, feed on the word of God. Feeding on the word of God. Just like the physical food is to the body, the word of God is to the spirit. 
feeding on the word of God. He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out from the mouth of God. So it is part of what will bring life unto you. Feeding on the word of God. Proverbs chapter 4, um, verses 22 to 24. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 22 to 24. Feeding, he said, from verse 21 now. From verse 21, he said, let them not depart from thy eyes. He said, keep them in the midst of thy heart. And what will they do? He said, for they are life unto those that find them. And hell. To all their flesh. And held to all their flesh. The word of God is held to all your flesh. Specialist doctors, they have their areas. We are the specialized. Some specialize in the eye. Some in the hair. Some teeth. Some body. But the scripture says, the word of God specializes in every facet of they are held to all your body. It's held to all your body. That is the greatest balanced diet anyone can eat in life. That is the greatest balanced diet. That will not make you to emerge as Kwashoko. It's held to all their body. Feeding on the word of God. As you feed on the word of God this season... I see your supernatural health established on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. Not just health in your body, even your soul and spirit. Pocket without money, account details without money, account details that look like FM, st FM station is sick. You know FM station 100.5. Ninety-two point six. Amen. That will not be your own account details. I said that will not be your own account details. Your account details will be like phone number. Zero eight zero, blah blah blah. How many digits? If you can receive it, receive it in Jesus' name. Radio station. Identification, we only tell you maybe 100.5. I've not seen 1,000.5. Amen. 99.5. <laughs> AIT is 100.5. I mean, um, <laughs> Ray Power, rather. Amen. Amen. And Hebron is what? 99.95.9. Amen. That will not be your own account details balance in the name of Jesus Christ. I said that will not be your balance account details in the name of Jesus Christ. It's health to all. So there are some pockets that are sick. But with the word of God, I see God healing those pockets now in the name of Jesus Christ. I see God healing those pockets now in the name of Jesus Christ. The pocket of your parent will not be sick in the name of Jesus Christ. The pocket of your guidance will not be sick in the name of Jesus Christ. The pocket of your sponsors will not be sick in the name of Jesus Christ. Even your own pocket will not be sick in the name of Jesus Christ. It will be back to back a lot for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Back to back a lot for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And graduate from a lot to a lamb for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Held to all their body. Held to all their body. That is the what the word of God can do. Peter was stranded. Luke chapter 5. They asked, labored all night and caught nothing. He said, notwithstanding, by your word. At your word, I will lay down. And the word of God created what was not in existence before. And they caught multitude of fishes and their net break. They caught multitude of fishes and their net, the word created it. 
They were on the same water, on the same sea, the same boat, the same nets. But when the word came, there was transformation. By the word of the Lord this morning, transformation is coming upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Transformation is coming to every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. So help me to announce to somebody, feed on the word of God. To see transformation in your life. Feed on the word. And transformation will come into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two key to enjoy health is speaking life and health. Speak it. Speak it. Death and life, they are in the power of tongue. Speak it. Speak life and health. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21. Death and life, they are in the power of tongue. He said, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The, which, whichever one you say, that is what you will enjoy. Whichever one you say, that is what you will enjoy. Death and life, they are in the power of tongue. So speak life and think life. Speak life and think life. Because out of the abundance of the earth, the mouth speaketh. And as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. What you think is who you are. Speak life and think life. I see the help of the Lord answering for us this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, to enjoy good health. Live right. Living right. Living right. Living right. Those that give themselves to the pleasure of the world, they are there while they are alive. First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 6. Live right. Live right. Live right. Live right. God that says don't go into adultery, don't go into fornication. If you contact HIV or STD or uh, PDP, uh, I say PDP, um, whatever sickness that is being contacted, is it God? It's not God. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So live right. And what does it mean to live right? Live according to scripture. Let the word of God be the controller of your life. It is one thing to live good. It is another thing to live right. Scripture is more than culture. You can live good by culture. And not live right. Some people say, according to our culture, we beat women in our culture. That is their culture. Say, women don't talk. When men stand to talk, women don't talk. They are the Alpha and Omega of their own. They are the lion of the tribe of Judah. As soon as their children hear the noise of the car, everybody dive into wherever they want to dive into. Those are lions in the house. Your children cannot hear your coming and be happy. Daddy, oh, yo, yo. Children sees you coming, they are running away. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Live right. Live according to scriptures. Live according to scriptures. Only life that is lived according to scripture will not be ruptured. Life lived according to scriptures will not be ruptured. You don't want to live a ruptured life, then live according to scriptures. That is the right life. The word of God liveth forever. I see the hand of the Lord. Resting upon our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And be mindful of what you eat. Eat right. Not junks. Eat right. A wise man said, let your food be your medicine. So that medicine will not become your food. Eat right. 
I told them on Tuesday, there is a common saying that a, a, a tasty soup, na monikila. No. It's not how much you use in cooking. It is the brain that you use in cooking that makes the, quick, uh, that makes the soup to be sweet. Amen. There is a soup in my place. They call it impromptu soup. It's an impromptu soup and it's the sweetest. My grandmother would just go behind, pluck some water leaves, um, put some pepper, and locust beans. From far away, your mouth is already watering. Amen. The Lord will help, bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Enough of, okay, don't let me talk. So that they won't say I spoil their market. Amen. You know what you eat, what you cook in your hostel with your kettle. Amen. Go to the calf and eat good food. Amen. Good food awaits you at the calf. There is no death in the pot. You carry the life of God inside of you. Tell somebody there is no death in the pot. The life of God is inside of you. He said, bring me the meal. And he put the meal into the pot and there is no more death. Your stomach is the biological pot. You partake of the communion every day. As the communion entered into that pot, no more death. No more stooling, no more vomiting. No, no not you anymore. Somebody say with me, not me anymore. Say with me, there is good food at the calf. Amen. Eat good food. And you will live healthily. You will live healthily. You will live. God has provided that place for you. And it's for your health and vitality. Mistake can come up at any time, but it's not forever. Amen. It has been taken care of, and the life of God is oozing out in that place now. I said the life of God is oozing out in that place now. You are on a lively ground. Sickness is not your portion anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. And finally this morning, to live in good health, be and, and engage in kingdom advancement endeavors. Engage in kingdom adv advancement endeavors. When the things of God becomes your priority, then your health will become a priority in the hand of God. Rise to your feet. Glory be to God. Lift up your hands to heaven and receive the power to live healthily all the days of your life. Go ahead and receive it right now. Receive it from the Lord. God has the capacity to, re to release unto you. Lord, I receive the capacity to live healthily. All the days of my life, I receive that power in the name of Jesus Christ. My health will no longer be challenged in the name of Jesus Christ. I have the package of good health in redemption. I have the package of good health in redemption. I claim my package right now. Go ahead and claim that package. Go ahead and claim that package right now. Go ahead and claim that package. I claim my package of good health in redemption right now. I claim my package of good health in redemption right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, your health will no longer be challenged. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' glorious name, we are praying.